For months, a secretive project has been run from here in North London. This is Return Research, a marketing and market research firm. Since April, maybe earlier, a team here has been phoning voters about the referendum. Following up a source who initially approached the news outlet The Canary, we went undercover to find out what the firm were up to. I'm calling um, on behalf of Return Research. This is one of three sites run by Return Research. The calls, we're told, are made 12 hours a day, seven days a week. Callers' targets are written on a board, 18 to 20 surveys per four-hour shift. But no one here knows who's paying for it all. For who? Yeah. Um, for, for Return Research. Um, Who's funding? Who's funding it? Uh, we're not told yet. Uh, we, we, don't, we don't know. And we have strong evidence that return research's questions aren't always balanced. Scripts obtained by Channel 4 News suggest that sometimes they try to push a message for one side. What's known in the world of market research and opinion polls as push polling. We didn't witness that during our undercover filming, but the supervisor here confirmed past surveys have included one very dubious question. Yeah. And then there was a question in like uh, one to five, yes, and it was, oh, the EU costs oh, 350 okay, million fine. per week. Great, yeah, How fine. important is that and, to you? Um, and obviously that's what the Leave right. campaign was. Almost right. Yeah. And so I'm like, I really don't know. That 350 million figure is one of the Leave side's strongest messages but several independent bodies say it's not correct. And David Cameron says it's a vote leave lie. Give 350 million pounds a week to Brussels, not true. Now look, if we want to vote to leave this organization, let's vote to leave it, but let's not do it on the basis of three things that are completely untrue. All right. There's a similar dubious question in another script, only to be posed, it says, to undecided voters. The EU costs each family 700 pounds per year. How important is the cost of EU? The supervisor told our undercover man nearly all the firm's work in the past has been for Conservatives. Yes, yeah, so we obviously had some ties in with the Conservatives, and I think that's how we got work. I see. Yeah, so uh, pretty much majority or nearly all the work we get is from the Conservative Party. We've obtained seven of the scripts which we've been told have been used by return research callers over the last two months. Now, a couple of the scripts are quite straightforward. Neither side in the referendum would have any complaint. But in five of the scripts are details about the costs of EU membership, which the Remain camp hotly dispute. So our return research engaged in genuine independent surveys, as they claim, or are they really working for one of the many campaign groups currently fighting for Brexit? Claims are made which are clearly contested claims um, uh, around the, the Britain's contribution to the EU uh, and presented as fact. And that would, in my view, uh, doubtless fall foul of the Market Research Society's own code of conduct. Um, and it, uh, it would suggest that there is as much of an attempt to persuade the respondent with those questions as there is to find out what the respondent actually believes. So who are Return Research? The company is owned by Miles Bennington and Jonathan Hazelwood. Both work for the Conservatives on the 2010 general election. And an old version of their firm's website says they both worked for No to AV in the referendum five years ago. No to AV was run by Matthew Elliott, who's now in charge of the official Vote Leave campaign. Both Vote Leave and Matthew Elliott strenuously deny employing return research or using their services. Whoever they are, Vote Leave told us, and whatever they're doing has absolutely nothing to do with Vote Leave directly or indirectly. And Mr Elliott told me he'd never even heard of Miles Bennington or Jonathan Hazelwood. And the other main Brexit campaigns, Leave EU, Grassroots Out, and UKIP also deny any link with Return Research. It's a mystery. Return Research say their referendum work is for third parties that aren't either the official Remain 
or vote Leave campaigns or political parties. But they won't say who. And they deny that what they're doing is political marketing or campaigning. All our research, they add, is impartial.